Health stakeholders in Nigeria have called on citizens to adhere strictly to directives given by the healthcare practitioners to help curb the spread of diphtheria. This was as stakeholders, including international development partners, converged on the nation's capital, Abuja, to review ongoing efforts aimed at combating the disease. Marvelous Obomanu tells us more. The signs are not good. The figures are increasing. The impact is being felt nationwide. But health stakeholders say they are not relenting to finding a lasting solution to the diphtheria epidemic. It is disheartening to note that children and adults alike continue to fall victim to this entirely preventable disease. Even more distressing is the over 600 people, mostly kids, who have died. Each new case is not just a statistic. It represents a family in distress, a community in mourning, and a nation grappling with avoidable suffering. Nigeria has recorded diphtheria outbreaks in the past, notably in 2011 and 2022, and earlier this year between January to April 2023, which affected 21 states of the Federation, including the federal capital. The latest outbreak has already affected five states in Nigeria's northern region. As of today, we have had uh, just a bit over 15,000 suspected cases, out of which 9,417 are confirmed cases. And they have come from a now a total of 137 local governments in 20 states, including the FCT. At this gathering of health stakeholders aimed at reviewing government's effort at tackling the virus, they say the distribution of vaccines has helped to reduce the numbers significantly. This ongoing vaccination phase has made a tangible difference in protecting the lives of 4 million. 859,181 children across these affected states. A total of 1,692,762 children ranging from 6 months to 4 years of age have been diligently admitted, administered the pentavalent vaccine. The decline in case numbers and deaths reflects the progress that has been made by all actors, national, uh, especially state, and all those operating in the front line, and with the support of our development partners, especially since um, the inauguration of uh, this high level coordination mechanism, which is the Victoria Emergency Task Team. They, however, say vaccines are not enough to combat the disease and advocated for increased awareness to curb its spread. Non-pharmaceutical measures are equally vital in our fight against this disease. With the menace of diphtheria posing a worrisome threat, stakeholders are urging citizens to adhere to the health directives and report themselves whenever they feel any sign of ill health. Marvelous Obomano reporting for News Central.